big moment here. We are in Alkmaar in the Netherlands with uh, Rico Boken. All right, a new episode. Ciao. And not just any episode. This is probably going to be the most epic episode of my YouTube channel, so far at least. We are here in... In Alkmaar. In Alkmaar. In the velodrome. Yeah. Would you like to tell them uh, what we are going to do today? Okay, so today we're going to do some aero testing on the velodrome with, together with Ku Cycle. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're a bunch of people who just want to get really fast. Yeah. So that's what we're here for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, Q Cycles. They have some next generation program. Yeah, and also some, some pro athletes as well. And you are in the next generation program. Yeah, I'm in the next gen team, Sweden. What is, what is the next gen team? Well, so the next gen team is a bunch of both uh, ambitious age groupers, good age groupers, and also some of some of us are pro athletes as well. Um, and Ku Cycle helps us get fast uh, and yeah, go really fast on the bike. Yeah, yeah, which is really cool. Which is really cool. Yeah, and yeah. it's a good looking bike. Yeah, it's truly eye catching. Yeah, it is. So they invited us or you to uh, to Alkmaar here in Holland and then I got to come along. You got to come along, yeah? Which I'm very, very happy and excited about. So Marcus is doing some aero testing for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going from here to here. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not going to do any tests, but I'm going to film and document everything. So should we go in and show the place? Yeah, of course, of course. Let's do it. Let's do this. So here it is. Here it is. There we are. The velodrome. Who is on? Who is on the? I think it's uh, Brian. Running some laps. So would yeah. you like to explain how this works? Yeah. Okay. So we're here to to get as fast as possible, and so we run the velodrome for I think about eight laps. Yeah. And. There. and you want to be as close as that time split every time so you get a standardized speed and on the bike there's also a sensor I think they're using using the aero lab sensor which is measuring the CDA and then they get the power uh, connected to it so they get the power the heart rate the speed the CDA and calculates uh, the CDA and yeah so we do one test and then we do another test right after it to get a like baseline and after that we uh, we'll do some tweaks to to find some speed so finding the the best position on your bike yeah it's it's very much about the aerodynamics but it's also important to have a comfortable position yeah so you're able to push push the pedals and create some power and go faster because yeah. if you just sit in a overly aggressive position you won't be able to push the power and I mean we got to hold the position for yeah two to four and a half hours yeah so it's important Second. that it's somewhat com comfortable as well yeah yeah I just called Sixton like 10 weeks ago maybe I should go and try to do a, an Iron Man and now now we're here now we're here yeah <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> it's so much fun super fun um, and it's super exciting to meet all, all the Q family.
<laughs> Are you gonna start testing now or are they just gonna try out? They're just gonna try out a few saddles. <coughs> so just some, some bike fitting? Uh, I don't think so because I have uh, I've already done, already done a bike fit so I think we'll use that one as the uh, base point. Alright. But we'll see. Then your belt will also rock a little bit. Okay. So now I ask you to find your position and then yeah. corner your so, 6 o'clock. So this is what you are afraid of. You're human. Am I? Oh my no, god. My legs so are, yeah, I know my legs are the same. Yeah, I so uh, this is your longer leg, this is your yeah. shorter leg. Yeah. Congratulations, you're human. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because I remember when we uh, when I was yeah, yeah, yeah. at your face, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On the cameras we saw yeah. it, but yeah. now you see two different yeah. hooks of exactly. your knees. Yeah. Yeah. So this is on the max of flex and this yeah. on the middle of flex. Yeah. So in the middle you are ready to go. So yeah. that is the first point to find a spot in your yeah. saddle. Yeah. Because when you go higher, yeah. you get more pressure. Yeah. And your body do a mathematic trick. Yeah. The the law of um, Pythagoras. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Equal to equal to yeah. 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 So when this secret that became too high, yeah. your body go a smaller B. Yeah. Because she yeah. So, so. yeah. So that is the trick of the body. Yeah. So now we know that spot high is is good. Yeah. And now we can. Is, uh, yeah. Now okay. we can. Yeah. yeah. Now we can find. Uh, now we can play with your cell. Yeah. So will you put off your uh, bike? Yeah. Get yeah. off. <laughs> Get so. off. Get off. So your experience with the saddle is that it is yeah, it's unstable. Yeah, it's moving a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't like. Not so much. Okay. Uh, I think so. It's, we try it's, an ice him. Yeah. Okay. I think it's really comfortable. Yeah. Um, okay. But, but do you? Uh, what was the saddle brand you ride before? Uh, I think it was a Bontrager. A oh, Bontrager. Okay. Yeah. But that so was an Aeolus. Uh, I don't really know. The tried long split, saddle. It was split. In, yeah, it's a no, long. No, it's a long saddle. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm. I don't think these are. Yeah, it's rocking, rocking way too much. But also, yeah, it's, yeah. Also, yeah, it's, it's not straight. Yeah. So, so straight. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not straight. I don't straight. like them as much as I thought I liked them. Yeah, I like the idea of it, mm. but if it would be, yeah, yeah, exactly. So if they would be like just firm mm. and not rocking as much, it would be perfect because I have problems with finding the right saddle. Yeah. Yeah. And this one you is feel like in instability. Yeah. Have you? Tr um, you've never. Tr you tried the ISM, right? Uh, no, yeah, but not that. this ISM. I tried uh, another one which was a bit wider. So I'm gonna try uh, the ISM here because no, it wasn't we, as wide we're now as trying mine. Okay. some uh, yeah. saddle. I think this is a good time to try. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. It's a dash. Wow. You have 600 euros in your hand. No way. Is that look at the, look at the thing? size of her. I know. Yeah. So then you have. I don't know. Even then you know. <laughs> Marcus couldn't even ride this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. She was it is uh, very expensive, so it must be the best saddle. <laughs> wow. Here is your five, fifth. Yeah. This is your toe, eh? That's your, yeah, that's my toe. And this is the bone? Yeah, that's the bone. First toe? Yeah. Second? That's the third. They're really close together, yeah. This uh, middle? Yeah. yeah. It's the middle of the first and second? Uh, yeah. Just the room? Yeah. Okay, then it's the second. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> oh, I feel <laughs> it. <laughs> it. It doesn't interest me at all. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But most yeah. of them do the currency down. Yeah, exactly. So you get pressure here. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah. 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 So when you do this, you don't get through to that, okay. and the connection of your helmet in your yeah. there. So, so that's like more training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly that. Yeah. yeah, it feels really good now, and it was quite quite interesting because we did some measurements uh, with my with my knee uh, stretched out, and after we changed, just did the saddle more narrow my degrees for my 
my knees went from like being 10 degrees apart to 5 degrees apart. We didn't move the saddle up, down, back, forth. He just made it a bit more narrow in the front because the saddle you can you can uh, adjust for yourself. Yeah. And that made a huge difference in in the balance between my legs. That's so cool. Me, yeah, it's super cool. It made me way more stable. And then we moved the pads a bit forward, which gives me like you now my arms is resting fully on the pads and not like this like they were before, which gives me a bit more sight forward. It was way more comfortable. So yeah, and then we're ready. Excited. Yeah, super excited. Stoked. Yeah, stoked. Productions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Platform of shame. The platform of shame. 65.3. Yeah. Yeah. Classic afternoon weight. Usually I'm about 55.2. <laughs> and then with the bike. With the bike, yeah. Of course. No, I understand. I was just curious about it. I'm not saying anything. I was like, when I go yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. How much? So now I just gained about 11 kilograms of muscle for lifting my bike once because I don't do strength training. Do we know your power meter? Uh, I don't think so. I haven't. When you look good, feel good, yeah. we'll start the test. Yeah. So when I start now, do you want me to go just straight up or? After the first corner, mm -hmm. until I get up to speed, or I can just go. Just, just start riding the track. Yeah. Don't worry about us anymore. Okay. Yeah. You focus on the track. Yeah. So and then, like I said, what you're trying to do is follow the black line yeah. eventually. Yeah. And just see how you get on. And yeah. Then it's, it's usually pretty clear once you're up to speed yeah. and in the aero bars and and you settle down. And once you, we'll see. Once you've done sort of three or four consistent laps, yeah, and then you just keep going like that, and we'll start the test. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we're good to go. Yep, good to go. And I have my power there. Okay. You should see. Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just lean your body a little bit. Yeah. So you're using the gravity yeah. to push yourself into the wood yeah. by holding your line. Two. Uh, second point is you gotta you you almost too excited. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So go calm. Yeah. And it's all new. Yeah. But the the, the impressive the imp what's impressive is you can hold your numbers for the for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah. Not, yeah, of course. Not how yeah. fast you're going. Yeah, no, this was below my 70.3. Correct, so, correct. So, 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 so I yeah. think that because uh, I can't, I can't look at it because then I just lose. Focus. No, no, no. But you're so gonna now. You're gonna get times eh, from Ed. Yeah, that will be. And great. that yeah. will be. We'll, we'll start doing yeah. a few laps we'll testing. Probably together. have a. Would be a two point something or a one point something. Yeah, one nine or yeah. two zero. Uh, on that one. Yeah. Just try and have yeah. them as consistent as you can. The so, yeah. the number that so you're either yeah. going to see a nine point something or zero point yeah. something. Okay. Yeah. And then try to say, okay, zero percent. Now I know what I need to hold. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. do maybe another two, three or four laps with yeah. these things, and then stop. And then yeah. Richard will basically uh, will will tell you when we start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I've done like what six, seven rounds. Yeah. Try you tested here. Minor tweaks, no difference, and then been at the same CDA, basically the whole time. So you're born perfect. I'm I'm born perfect, yeah. <laughs> and I would say that the bike fitters have done a really good job with my initial bike fit. Yeah. Uh, so 
It's, uh, I, I knew that it would be fast, but I, I didn't know that it would be this fast because it's going pretty fast. And this is the first time you tried your new bike? Yeah, at least uh, like in real life and not on a trainer. So I'm super excited and super happy and it's great to be here with all the, with, with all the other like pros and uh, great staff and yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great team. And here we have somebody else. Is it uh, Patrick? It's Patrick, yeah. Patrick. Yeah. Ah, because I think and a nice Patrick. Are you having fun? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you happy to I'm climb the wall? A bit shaky from coming from the home train. It's <laughs> 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 Shit! I can imagine. I can imagine. Oh, it's good. Oh, I was like. <laughs> and then, and then you, you wait till tomorrow night, and it's like. Seven in the evening, and you got ten-year-old kids. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It, uh, it's good for the company. Short break to get the adrenaline down. <laughs> yeah. I, saw, I was looking out of my eyes. Like, That's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Inside, like. <laughs> oh my god. But it's not as bad. On our first one in Germany, we bought a bike fitter, and before it was like. Until he, and he was really quiet. And first Stella Kubas, the ladies all went. And the end was, are you ready now? <laughs> we had like an hour of tears. <laughs> and by the middle of the day, he didn't want to go on. He said, no, no, I'm not going. No, you're going. And I sat down with him. I said, I think there's an unresolved issue here. Big accident where he hit a piece of concrete and a metal bar went through his leg. That's what came back. And he saw himself already falling in the corner with a piece of wood through his other leg. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we need to solve this. What can we do for you to get over this? I want you guys to all leave and leave me alone for one hour. Huh? The whole fellow do it? <laughs> okay, we'll give you lunch then. <laughs> so from 12 to 1, we all left. Now and then, after 10 minutes, I was like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes before 1, yeah. big smile. <laughs> But still crying, now out of happiness, yeah. <laughs> no longer fear. So there is hope. <laughs> <laughs> Big moment here. We are in Alkmaar in the Netherlands with uh, Rico Boken, Joe Spinder, coach, technical director, Koo Cycle, Richard McCains, and Alex, Koo Cycle. And something incredible happened in the last three weeks because three weeks ago we didn't know that Rico would be invited and offered a contract with the PTO for the T100 series, the top of triathlon where 20 of the best guys and 20 of the best girls are racing it out over a series of eight events. This was announced three weeks ago and we're super proud, Rico, to offer you today your new TF100 because when you're racing the T100 series, and test is on. Then you're testing. <laughs> so let's Rico unveil yeah. this uh, this beauty here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's zoom in on a few uh, of the special uh, aspects and features. Yeah. On the TF100, we have a new cockpit in a partnership. We call it the Ku Pro cockpit, but it's in a partnership with Fast TT from New Zealand. It's called the best cockpit. In the, in the world that nobody knows. <laughs> but that's going to change soon. Yeah. <laughs> <If I remind it>. <laughs> <laughs> then I think in true Formula One style, Rico has his sponsors, beautiful partners that have teamed up with Rico. Zocconi, <laughs> the bike comp, the shoe company, Kusaiko, Schnelle Stelle from Germany, GTI, the Boer, and, yeah. and we have here Skinfit, Karamotos of shoes. the shoes. <laughs> Primal yeah. Harvest on the uh, nutri the uh, and supplements and ministry uh, the nutrition. Yeah. Perfect. So and now you can find all the, the sponsors on the on the frame again. Here, I still have the Katamotos. The boar. Here it has to add a bell box and it's the nutrition part. Yeah. So this is a very new first. I think first bike brand. Which is still doing that. We'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> Rico. And then. What happened over here? Yeah. 
the star for the world champ, and I have to add more stars there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the frame is too, too slow, uh, too short. <laughs> I remember Rico asked, he said, I want to have this gold medal on the frame. I said, why now? Well, in the future, if I have kids, I want to make sure they can see how many gold stars Papa has. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rico, um, from Richard, myself, yeah. Good luck next weekend Thank and this you. season, and we are really proud yeah. to. Uh, Thank you. Thank you for the bike, and now let's test it. Let's yeah. go. All right. So, hi, Rico. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good here at the velodrome. Some aero testing, so all fine. Next week, it's time for some uh, competition. Yeah, the first race of the season, yeah. uh, the T100 uh, series is starting in Miami. So, yeah. First long trail for me to America, and yeah, then going against the big guys. Uh, I'm really looking forward. Yeah, cool. How do you feel uh, for it? Like, are you fit for fight or? Yeah, uh, yeah tr last uh, month was really good. Uh, so did a good training block in Namibia and then in Lanzarote. So it was good, and I'm I'm fit and yeah, looking forward to race. Awesome, awesome. Uh, you're here with Q bikes today, and what is it with the Q bike you like? Yeah, Q, uh, my sponsor from the beginning, uh, my time trial bike, and yeah, the technology behind Q is that they have a wider fork and uh, higher, so the airstream can get through your legs and doesn't get broken in front of the frame. So this is the special of the Q frame and yeah it's really fast and yeah and it's also measured before you get uh, your bike it's you know, they measure your body and then uh, yeah you get a frame to your body so it's really cool and if you go first time on the bike you it's it's used perfect so nothing to change that, that much yeah <laughs> cool cool another question how did you start with triathlon I started uh, as a swimmer, so as a I was swimmer. a former swimmer, yeah, and cool. for, for six years I changed to triathlon and yeah, <laughs> because swimming was a little bit too boring, <laughs> two times swimming per day and then yeah, uh, triathlon is more, yeah, going in nature, have three disciplines, yeah, it's not that boring and uh, yeah, it's, it suits me also better and yeah, it's a nice sport. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. I also started with swimming actually. Yeah. Uh, and just got into triathlon, so uh, that's uh, maybe a good thing. Then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Swimming is the, is, is the difficult part if you're starting uh, after the age of 20. It's, it's difficult to, to learn the right technique, uh, but yeah, it's, it's even cool if you start with swimming and, and triathlon. Yeah, 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 that's good. Then there's hope for me as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. All right, so I am back home. What a adventure! Uh, first off, I, I wanna I just wanna thank uh, Alex and Richard, uh, the 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 owners and founders of uh, Q Cycles, for for letting me join Sixten for uh, uh, for these velodrome testing. It was uh, really really cool and interesting for me to get to know all these details. It was very much above my level of knowledge, but it was it was cool. I, I like when you when you get ner nerdy and uh, dig down uh, deep in the details. So that was pretty cool. I thought that I had captured a lot more video footage, and I have like many hours of it. But there was a lot of people that we met, uh, which I obviously didn't catch uh, enough on video. We were I was caught in the moment and obviously forgot to film a lot of it, but super fun experience and uh, really, really cool. And also I was, I was a bit starstruck meeting uh, Rico. And it was really cool on the T100, he, he, uh, he came in first after the swimming. So uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing for Rico for this uh, series in, in uh, the T100. Such a such a nice guy, but uh, yeah. So I guess so I guess this is it for for this episode, and I um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I see you in the next one, and uh, if you don't do it already, subscribe, hit the like button, 
comment every time you comment it helps me a lot so if you like what I see and if you want me to keep on doing what I do hit the like subscribe and comment yeah I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna learn how to say that properly but yeah super cool have a good one bye